Battles Austerlitz Scenario by Command Post Games. Now today, I'm playing Double Blind Solo, what I call Schrodinger's Napoleon. The scenario starts as it normally does, Napoleon's HQ coming on, and the Austrian player doesn't know if he's bringing everyone on, in which case he has to win, or if he's not bringing anyone on, and then they have to win. When I say bringing everyone on, I mean this. Bernadette's First Corps, Bessier's Guards, Mirab, and the Cavalry. Is it all these, or just that? And the coalition comes within line of sight of Napoleon, that's when I decide. Like Schrodinger's cat, he's both there and not there until you see him. This is quantum uncertainty in the age of Napoleon. We start with Kenmeyer's Corps. Followed by the Russian Guard. Migration's Advance Guard. This is turn one. Lon's Fifth Corps. Lon elects to receive. Sul's Fourth Corps. Huge. They also elect to receive. In other words, they hold their position. Colores, Fourth Corps. Now Napoleon does not have a chit, he's commander-in-chief, he can move with any of his other corps. So earlier, when Lon or Sult were drawn, I could have moved him. He enters along the Olmutz Road. Although not in column, the Russian 1st, 2nd, and 3rd Corps all hold their position. As always, it's foggy at Austerlitz the first three turns. Visibility is only one-third. Nobody can see anybody. Turn two. Devu enters the cup. Lichtenstein's 5th Cavalry Corps must stay a third away. They can't make it all the way. Konstantin and the Russian Guard. Soltz 4th Corps still holds. And migration is drawn. His advance guard hits the French line. Davout's Third Corps. Davout's Third Corps races up the road. They shake out into line and form on the ridge line. Colorado's Fourth Corps. Kenmire's First Corps. Lenay's Fifth Corps holds. Napoleon might be coming up. Turn two combat. Aggression's advanced guard runs into Sult's Corps. A devastating loss, the Austrians. Although Legrand's division was thrown back, the Austrians are no more. Turn three. Last turn of fog. Kenmeyer's Corps enfilades right. Legrand reforms on the hilltop. He orders his right Frank to swing back. And Napoleon swings wide still wishing to be mysterious. Colerath also moves Enfilade. Lon rotates and prepares. Migration moves up a little bit. The Russian guards under Constantin The artillery moves to the peak. Lichtenstein's Austrians storm the hill. 
It's Davu, and what he does depends a lot on what, whether or not Napoleon is actually there. So at this time, Napoleon moves with Davu. He races forward to here. Let us roll and see if Napoleon is here today. No. Napoleon is not here. This is everybody. In that case, Davu falls back. That is the end of turn three. Napoleon was bluffing. This is everybody. This means the coalition forces must destroy the French army, either capturing a baggage or eliminating 50%. Before we move on, I have combat here. The Russian guards. They break the line and push the French back. And over here, Liechtenstein's cavalry assault. They both do one hit. Infantry cannot retreat from cavalry. French will lose a unit. One hit on the Austrians, but they have their cuirassiers, and they absorb that hit. Now with the heavy losses on the advance guard, and they're failing to take the hill, they are now an exhausted corps. Bagration's advance guard is ineffective because it has lost half its infantry blocks. Turn four. The three Russian corps at the top of the hill begin to move out. Davu holds. Kolarath begins wheeling the corps about. Lechtenstein's 5th Corps Cavalry. Now part of me wants to just run over here and attack this artillery, but you know this whole command is focused on getting on these elements. And by golly, that's what they're going to do. Get Myers Corps. He has a detachment protecting Griskowitz and Lichtenstein's Hussars ride up to take out the artillery. Detachment protects the flank. The right wing of the corps comes over the hill. Long holds. No, Wathier's Hussars charge that detachment. The Russian Grenadier Cuirassiers charge in. Lifeguard swings to contact those detachments. Grenadiers. And Depotovich's Hussars charge. Cap, the artillery moves forward a hill. The Russians continue to come off the Pratsen. Salt's 4th Corps is falling back. Friant refuses his flank. And Boursier's dragoons charge. Bagration's advance guard. Artillery fires. No. They move up. They charge. Turn four combat. Outflanked on two sides. These are just detachments. The cavalry charge. The French cavalry are utterly eliminated. And over here on the French left, Hussars charging artillery. Artillery is pulled off the hill. The Hussars fall back. Is Watier's Hussars running down a detachment of Austrians. And run down they are. Turn five. Bagration's advance guard. The artillery. Fires on Solt's artillery. It's driven back. 
breaks up Van Damme's division. Migration commits his focus on the French center. Hermeshev opens up on Lon's artillery. Flank attack. Devastating. Lon falls back. Zoltz, 4th Corps. He has to unpack his bags. Could be his doom, could be his salvation. 1st Corps Artillery opens up again. First unit was supporting and holds, but of course the third unit line cannot support, so it simply just gets pushed back by the retreating artillery. Davu has everyone fall back. Constantin's Guard Corps. Constantin's Guard Corps moves to crush Davu's Corps. Hitmeyer's Austrians await Kolarath. Langren's artillery opens up. No effect. Combat, turn five. Briant's division is seriously taxed. The French guards are driven back. But they are caught in square, and the lifeguard cuts them down. And over here, Liechtenstein's cuirassiers. They can't retreat. Friant's division, essentially Davout's corps, has been eliminated. We've got some detachments here. We've got the bags here. If the bags can make it to the woods, then the cavalry can't attack it. Turn six. The Russian guards charge the bags. They use the charge rule. They attack now, which means at the beginning of combat, the bags are contacted and they're destroyed. There you have it. Late afternoon. Coalition victory. Napoleon was bluffing. But his grand plan didn't work because for it to work they would have had to hold off the coalition army. Didn't happen. Good game.